Okay, in this video we're going to talk about how we can convert from uh, binary to hexadecimal and hexadecimal back to binary. Um, and we obviously need to include deanery in this as well. Now the big thing to remember is first of all that deanery is just straightforward normal counting like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Deanery is and it's out of 10. Binary is 1s and zeros, and hexadecimal is a mixture of um, letters and numbers. Now, if we look at the binary value, 0, 0, 0, 0, that's a 0 in normal counting or deanery. It's also a 0 in hexadecimal. 0, 0, 0, 1 in binary is a 1 in deanery, and it's also a 1 in hexadecimal. So to start with, this is very simple. Where it changes is after 9. So you can see on this one, what we've got here is we've got 1, 0, 1, 0. So we've got no 1s, 1, 2, no 4s, 1, 8. 8 plus 2 is 10. So you can see the 10 on the deanery here. Okay, But instead of it being a 10 in the hexadecimal, it becomes an A. So the only thing you really need to remember with hexadecimal is that 1 to 9 is the same as deanery, but then it swaps into the alphabet. And if you can remember that, you've done most of it already. Now, if we just have a quick look at this, so I'm going to use my test account down here, which is WCIS, and I'm going to go into the binary section. You may see a bit of delay here. And I'm going to go into task 1.5. And we wait a little bit. Now, I do apologize because I'm going to use the writing tool here, and this is not going to be very neat. Okay, so first of all we can't deal with this the number's too big so we split it into groups of four okay and what we've now got here if i just swap across onto here for a second is we've got one one zero zero and we've got zero zero one one okay so we've got two sets here but we need to split those in and find out what they are um in binary value so if we start with a one and we have a two after the one because they double each time. So after the two, we get a four. And after the four, we get an eight. Not there. Then we can start to place these into the set. So on this first one, we've got one eight. One four, no twos, no ones. So eight plus four is twelve. On the second one, we've got no eights, no fours, one two, and one one. Two plus one is three. So we know that's a twelve and that's a three. Now, as we've said already, up till nine is the same. So what we can do now, and I'll flick across here, is we can say that this is um, going to be a 3, because that's 0, 0, 1, 1. So that's going to be a 3. But the 12 can't be a 12, okay? Because at 9 it changes over. So 10 is A, 11 is B, so 12 must be C. So this must be a C, which means this is a C3, okay? And that's one's done. Now, in a second part here, it's converting the hexadecimal numbers into binary. And essentially, it's the same thing. We need to change these um, into groups of four. So the six, and again, we can do this by uh, just writing out the table the same way. So it, basically, we're looking for an eight, a four, a two, and a one. Okay. So we know that a six is made up of no eights. It's got a 1, 4 in it, it's got 1, 2 in it, and there's nothing left. Okay, so that's our first one, that's our 6. Now C, we know again, we actually know the answer to this because we've already done it in the previous example, but just as an example, we know it's 3 beyond 9, so it's 12. So we've got um, 1, 8, 1, 4, uh, no 2s and no ones and that makes a 12 okay and that's actually our answer now so we can actually write that same we could say again we can use the pen tool we can write it in the other way um this one is going to be a zero 
I'm actually written a bit neater when you do this. One, one, zero. And then it's one, one, zero, zero. Okay. Okay, when we get down to activity uh, 1.6, we need to convert the following hexadecimal numbers into deanery. So we need to do two things. We need to, first of all, change this 6b into uh, two lots of binaries. So we need to change the 6 and the b into their binary equivalents. And then we can change the binary into the deanery. So the 6 is fairly simple. I'm just going to use the tool the table here to help me a bit because the numbers get a bit bigger here. So these are in sets of 4, so we've got a 1 a 2, a 4, and an 8. Okay, now 6 has got no 8s, so it's a 0. It's got 1, 4, and 1, 2, and no 1s, so it's 0, 1, 1, 0. B, well we know that um, 9 is the last number, so B is 2 beyond 9, so it's 11, so it's got 1, 8 in it. It's got no fours in it. It has got a two in it because that takes us to ten and it's got one one in it. So that, that's our total binary, but we need to write that out. So at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to copy all of this across. We're going to get one, one, zero, one, because that was the B, the second one. And then we're going to do zero, one, one zero because that was the six so that's the whole binary one and i'm just going to see what these lists are so we double eight and we get 16 we double 16 and we get 32 we double 32 and we get 64 we double 64 and we get 128 okay so we can now work this one out into uh, into deanery so we've got 164 and to be fair one note will help you with this we can do 64 Add 32, add 8, no 4s, 1, 2, and 1, 1. So add a 2, and oh, yeah, I can't type, add a 2, and add a 1. And if you press equals, you should find it gives you the answer. And mine doesn't want to at this point, so I'm just going to work this one out myself. Okay, so 64 plus 32 is going to be 96. 96 plus 8 is going to be 104. 104 plus 2 is going to be 106. And 106 plus 1 is going to be 107. So it's going to be 107. So the answer here... Is 107 and I'd really like to see this working I'd like to see the fact that you're breaking it into two you're then putting the two bits of binary together and then converting it into the deanery so it is slow but it's not overly complicated